Okay, hi, Jan here from Using Stuff, and we're here on stage with Airborne, and they will show us a little bit what they are using on this tour for their guitars and amps and stuff. So, hi, G'day, how are I'm you? G'day, I'm Joel. How you doing? I'm Rosie. Uh, this is my rig over here, so basically we're going all Marshall all the way across, and then over to Wizard, and then we've got PV, and then more Marshalls here, and basically, yeah, they're all on, but we mic up the main tone here, that's for the PA. So basically, it's a real simple thing, it's just one in, six out. So there's no pedals, no no things like that. Okay, and you like the mixture of all these sounds? Yeah, I like the blend. It seems to have a good, um, solid, I don't know, I just like it, I'm a bit funny like that. Yeah. Have you ever tried to get this tone with one or two amps? Or Yeah, I have, but it's <laughs> it just doesn't, it's not the same. You need to have that, no, because this is a very unique sounding head. And so is that, you know yeah. what I mean? So, and then blending it all together, it's kind of like a blended scotch. Yeah. But I guess you have needed time to get all these amps dialed in right to get this mixture. Yeah, it takes time and that's what every day you dial a little bit more. Yeah. You know, cause, and every room's different. So like, look, at, it's, it's such a different room in here and the crowd hear a lot of what we play. Yeah, but are you using in-ear monitors or are you just using normal monitoring? So, normal monitors for this. You see them up the front here. Yeah. yeah. And will we go to his amps or to your guitars yeah. first? I'll take you over real quick, guys. <laughs> okay. Much the same again, you know. I'm, I'm sort of running more wizards with the sort of uh, as a bulk of my main sound, which are these cabs down here mic'd up. But it's sort of, you know, the same sort of setup again with all the little blender marshals and wizards, but um, sort of my main heads are these yeah, modern classics, mix of uh, DSLs and 800s, no pedals, just guitars into amps, and um, yeah, I mean, my main tone will be dialed in with these two cabs that are mic'd up for the PA, and, and yeah. the rest will just run at different volumes, but like Joel was saying, different venues, we have to sort of tweak the tone from venue to venue, because there's sort of, every different room's got a lot more reverb. Yeah. Reparation going on and stuff, so yeah, we sort of just change it up and, and that's it, our wall of sound. Yeah, pretty much. and what happens if you have to play in a small venue? Uh, you, yep. You're always using those six amps? Depending on how big the stage is, we sort of just, uh, the boys will go in and measure up and go, okay, it's a, it's a three stack gig tonight or it's a full stack, you know, um, if we're doing clubs or doing festival stages, we sort of just go down. I mean, we've done smaller clubs where you go back to sort of, you might dial back to sort of a three stack setup. Yeah. And and then yeah, I'll just have sort of my main sort of set up again. Um, it'll just be because my main sound is mic'd up through two cabs. Um, that's sort of you know you're able to do that in smaller venues still. But I'm um, still running it all same as the festivals. They all come out and these stages they all come out. Yep. Yeah. And which guitars are you using on this tour? Uh, Explorers, always Explorers. Yeah. Just yeah. I've been customised '76 reissues and yeah. Just yeah. The, are well. they somewhere around here or just too uh, far now? <laughs> oh, they're down off stage. Okay. I mean, I can take you there quick if you want to. Yeah, it would um, be great. And you're using no effects? No effects, no. <laughs> just pure just amp sound. Guitar in the amp. Have you, yeah, ever, yeah. Have you ever tried the effects? No, nah, I just don't need it for our type of music. Just yeah. You've got the right guitar, Gibsons and Marshalls or Wizards. So we we got our right amps and guitars for the sound, so why use effects, you know? Um, I mean, here's, here's Mick, my guitar tech, he's just getting all guitars ready now for sound check, but um, this is basically what I'm using. Here's my main one here, which has all been sort of customised by Mick. That's um, it's called the Black Dog guitar. He's, because that was the first guitar I got before the start of Black Dog barking, so. Um, that little sort of memento put on the 12th fret there. Um, look, they're all pretty much the same. This one here is just, um, the same type of explorer again, but that's my detune one, which is tuned a whole step down. That does Diamond in the Rough and Back in the Game and Breaking Out of Hell. So it's three songs that are tuned down, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, because we're only supporting on this show, yeah. uh, you know, I've just sort of our set's a bit smaller, so I'm only sort of using a couple of guitars. So. Okay. But yeah, that's it, really. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. And do you think we can see uh, Joel guitar? Uh, you yeah. have to go. Yeah, he's over the other side though. Okay. I'm sorry about the rush, mate, but it's just really. No problem. Because it's not our show, we've sort of got a very small window to sound check and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, we will just try to find him. Yeah, he's been back up there, but his guitars are on the other side. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, hi, so we're back. We're back here. For your guitars. And another side of the room. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, look, the main guitar I use on this tour is this one here. 
So, and you notice it has the bottle top, uh, top on it. That's for my little finger to turn yeah. up and down live. Because yeah. you need the... So you just need volume? Every, yeah, everything. just volume. Yeah. But I, I turn it down, you know, a little bit. Uh, usually around for verses, somewhere around five and six. Yeah. And then for solos I'll, or a chorus, I'll crank up a little bit more. And then for solos, I'll go all the way. And having just my little finger do it yeah. with the bottle top it has a good grip. So yeah. you're able to just go like this or quick, you know. Yeah. So. And what is so great about Explorers? They just have a certain sound that we love. And yeah. I don't know, we just love playing them. I always got the SG here. You know, see, it's got the Guinness on it. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, they just got a good sound to them. This one, this has been chambered. Yeah. So it's actually been, you know, um, we had a custom. We did it at home. Yeah. It's got like chambers in it. So you, you just started with Explorers and Marshalls all the, all the time. So when yes. you started playing in a band, it has always been Explorers and Marshalls? Yeah, uh, uh, SGs. Oh, you started yeah. with SGs and then? Yeah. Yeah. And you, you always imagined that you would, with your band would be become that big that you are right now? Or is it just... Um, oh, we don't really sort of think too far ahead. Okay. We always just knew what we wanted to do. But we started with Marshall Stacks. That were the first things we went out and bought. Yeah. was the Stacks. And then we went, well, we've got to have Marshall Stacks. So that's the first thing we did. So yeah. First gigs were played like that. Yeah, uh, but you would not say you're trying around like different guitars and different amps very oh much. no no it's always been gibson sgs and explorers from day one so just because it, you don't it don't feel uh, other guitars just don't feel right for you yeah other like amps. fenders and stuff don't really work for the guitar side of things they're more for the bass side we seem to use uh with street because he loves his fender bass <laughs>